Hello. Hello, welcome to our very first The Risto Family Expert Talk. And I'm very excited uh, to talk to Arlene today. Um, she is a greenish newbie. And yeah. Um, she's writing on her blog about uh, her journey that she did so far and um, yeah I'm very excited to hear what she's gonna tell us about her journey and what she's gonna share with us and maybe she's got some tips and yeah I got comfortable here with a cup of tea and I hope you are comfortable too okay there she is hi Vivka <laughs> hello Arlene how are you today good good it's a nice and calm peaceful Sunday on your side yes yeah same we went hiking this morning so oh wow a bit <laughs> nice. of nature already so yeah that was good wonderful yeah. I, the most outdoorsy we got today was a nice breakfast on the stupa that was fine with me <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice okay. way to start the day <laughs> sorry say again it was a nice way to start the day yes yeah no coffee is always or breakfast is always a good start yeah <laughs> Good, good breakfast okay did you get comfortable like i just said i've got a cup of tea here and um Same. looking forward to our chat <laughs> great you might hear my cat playing with the paper ball i just made for him because he's all around me like what what's happening why are you walking around and busy this time of the evening so he's i just rub a uh, rubble together a piece of newspaper and threw it this way and he's, he's having uh, a ball. So, yeah. And then he's busy, eh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, awesome. Okay, Aline, we already met like two or three weeks ago, the first time in yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah, and it was really nice. Um, I shared my story a little bit. Um, or Which I will be posting in the blog soon, this week. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yes, <laughs> good, good. <laughs> we'll definitely share that as well. And yeah, and today it's your turn. So we want to know everything about your journey. So as far as I know, um, you started your journey a few months ago, officially. <laughs> But we want to know, like, um, yeah, how, how did you start or what was the initial trigger to say okay now I'm gonna go green or more eco-friendly um, and uh, yeah was there an instance that like um, made you start or was it a longer process and how how did everything happen <laughs> yeah yeah like it it, uh, it feels so much longer than it actually is um, it kind of started around middle December but then in January it kind of just kicked Sorry. off. Um, that's no problem. Um, so yeah, we, my husband and I visited my parents in Springbok in the Northern Cape for Christmas. So we, we planned to spend our whole December uh, holiday with them. And then around Christmas day, I started feeling terrible, like these headaches you wouldn't believe. Um, and first we thought I needed glasses. Uh, but long story short, we actually uh, had contracted COVID right before we went to visit them. So, uh, but we only realized that obviously, like smack bang in the middle of our of our holiday with them, um, decided to rather cut our holiday short and come back um, home to quarantine here. Um, mm -hmm. And experiencing uh, COVID, it, it 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 was completely something different. Like you you know you've never felt like this before. I can't I can't really explain it otherwise. And I mean we had it very uh, light cases of it and we're very grateful and thankful for that but when you experience that and you f you you start reading up more about this pandemic and about the virus and everything and in that time a lot of uh, information came out about how um 
viruses like the coronavirus um, tend to be more um, regular now. They, they spread quicker um, and they start mostly due to the fact that humans are infringing on wild animals' habitats. We're destroying habitat space. We are not, not even to talk about the world that's overpopulated. Um, so all that information started roaming around in my head. And then while we were quarantining in the house, um, we finally got time to watch the David Attenborough documentary, A Life on Our Planet. I've been meaning to watch it months before that or weeks before that. Uh, we finally got time. And if you've watched it, you'll know that that hits you in the stomach. And when um, the amazing, amazing legend that uh, David Attenborough is speaks about how how the world might end up in a few years if we don't change what we're doing and what it could be like if we ch start changing the way we're living. Um, it was just after that, I was in tears. <laughs> I was like, no, it's now it's the day I'm going to change. That was the switch for me. Um, I know for a lot of people, it's a bunch of different things and you, um, a lot of people start differently. They start with smaller steps. For me, it felt like, no, I'm making this 180 degree uh, turn and I'm going to change the world. I was, I was set out with this. I'm a, I'm a big picture person. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to change everything. I'm going to tell everyone to change what they're doing. Um, and then it was just a process from there, just reading up, learning, figuring out that it's, it's not, it's not that simple. It's a, it's a process yeah. and, um, and it's, it's, there's something small that each of us can do in every, every single, uh, everyday activity yeah yeah That's true yeah <laughs> and like you said it is um for some people it's like okay i need to now change everything at yeah. once like it's not even possible but you just have that urge and mm. some people just like change it a little bit change the like that was for me i my first swaps were just because oh yeah a soap bag is interesting. Now I'm going to buy a soap bag, you know, and then it just yeah. came. Um, yeah, interesting. So that documentary was really your your initial kickoff. Yeah. Would Thank you me. say you were before a very, like, um, unconscious person? Like you didn't have um, anything to do with, like, a green life or, um, yeah, just that, or were there initial steps or were there steps before that kind of led to that? Now I'm going to go. Um, yeah, I think there were. Um, I think, and it might be, I think it was a lot of influence from my grandmother and my mother. Um, who, they both grew up with lesser circumstances definitely than I grew up. So um, I think it, with, with them, it was a lifestyle of, uh, um, using everything twice, turning your, uh, what's that expression? Turning a sink three times around, whatever, just yes. to, um, don't be wasteful. Um, use what you have or make mm -hmm. it yourself. Um, so I think a lot of habits like that was instilled in me since I was very young and we've tried to do, uh, but it was mostly things we just enjoyed doing like gardening and, uh, making our own food or making our own decor, uh, we, we luckily we moved into an area where recycling was an option. So we were, we were doing things like that, but not with the, um, yeah, being aware of, okay, we're doing this for the planet. It was just like, okay, we like gardening. We like making our own meals. We like eating healthy. Uh, there's a recycling truck coming every week. So we started with stuff like that. But with once I made that mind shift, it really started – I started to see the purpose about why am I doing this? What is it going to do? What, why is it going to help? Yes. Yeah. And after that, the documentary, your COVID experience, which is actually also interesting that um, this pandemic, which is so bad and so horrible for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, but in that case, like it, initiated a, a, a switch to the good side, like to something good. Yeah. Um, and I'm still very hopeful that um, uh, like a mind shift, like you said, uh, happened in a, in a lot of people because like you said, we have to care about our environment as well and um, see the overall picture in terms of uh, avoiding these things or um, 
yeah, maybe we can't avoid it really, but um, just handle it better, deal with it better. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So after this, what happened then? Like, did you go the next day and um, did you buy all the, the, <laughs> the alternatives that are on the market or um, did you throw out everything that wasn't suitable? Like what, how, how was your um, process after that? So, yeah, after that initial, like, oh, I'm going to change the world. It was like this massive switch in my brain. I realized like, okay, well, what now? How do you how do you go about this? Where do you start? There was the I didn't have a manual, um, and I think it's a lot well, for a lot of people. It's like that. There's no okay. Here are the five steps you need to need to do. Um, so I started uh, just looking in our house. I didn't throw out a lot of things. That's that's one of the first things when I started doing a bit of Google research and and started to follow people who, who promote sustainability and a sustainable lifestyle. The first, one of the first things they say is don't throw out everything you already have. You already bought it. It was already made. Resources already went into making it. So use it, but just find a better way to either reuse the product or the container, repurpose it, and only lastly, recycle it. Um, and then from there, um, that was actually a bit, it was such a, a, a fun week. I, I, I said to myself, okay, let's take a week and let's do some research. Are there companies that sell alternative products um, in, in no plastic containers and v vegan friendly, uh, uh, anim not anim animal tested, um, things like that? And the whole new world started opening um, up to me. I even went to, what is those um, Facebook suggestions where you can ask, like, is there a barber shop yeah. in my area or something? And I, I yeah. said, I'm. I'm interested in living a more eco-friendly or sustainable lifestyle does anyone have any suggestions and i was amazed by the amount of and it's, it's people i knew very well and it's people i've casually met in the past and we're like facebook friends mm -hmm. and i was i was really astonished at the amount of suggestions and the help that came out of this people say oh have you tried this i've i've been doing this for five years and it works wonders and it, this has reduced my waste by 50% and stuff like that. So it was really, I was, I felt so welcome. Um, mm -hmm. And I thought initially it was going to be, I don't know. I always felt like living sustainably was, was seen as this, oh, you're a hippie. Um, you're a tree hugger. This, this type of kind of like a stereotype around it for some reason, which negative, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, but I always judgmental. thought people, yeah, yeah, I always thought people would be like, "Okay, what happened to you?" But no, it was really uh, I felt welcomed with open arms, and from there I started changing some so many of my products, um, and it's just yeah, it's been amazing from there on. I've I've not regretted it the day since. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I also like you said. I think it's very important. Um, yeah, to start somewhere and just like look around, like what resonates with you. And I find very important what you said, like don't throw out everything and get all the new stuff in immediately because that would be so wasteful and would like exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, just just use and do like step by step slowly um, the change. Mm -hmm. So what were your first? Um, changes that you made or swaps um, what yeah what what came first to you like what resonated first with you what did you do uh, so yeah quite a few things like I said I, I tried to do it full out um, so I did it I did my research and I, I checked what were what was suggested by other people what kind of products was easy to 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 switch to uh, one of the easiest ones is, for example, the bamboo toothbrush, um, mm -hmm. where it, it, it has the exact same function, exact same feel. It just minimizes your plastic waste so much. I mean, it's not perfect when the bristles are still made of nylon and you have to dispose of that responsibly. Mm -hmm. But something as small as that, where I was wondering why aren't companies who make toothbrushes doing this from the get-go? It's yeah. it's. Yeah. To me, it's baffling, but um, 
that and uh, shampoo bars or uh, shampoos and conditioners that come in glass or aluminium uh what else um yeah uh, the eco-friendly toothpaste um cleaning products um yeah there were quite a quite a few things that that for me the the most important thing at that stage was to minimize the amount of plastic i brought into the house or that i purchased um it's one of the first steps in, in the whole rethink re- reduce refuse what 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 um mantra is just refuse it and look for a different product that is offered in a different um container and from there it's uh, yo know, i can tell you um doing that and oh and one of the biggest things that changed um the way we lived was uh using the bukashi composting system of um composting your your kitchen waste which helped yes. us a lot um because it can take things like meat and uh dairy um things that you can normally you can't put in a in a in a um a regular composting system yeah yeah that helped us a lot and together our the amount of waste we put out in a week has reduced by i want to say 75% and i'm not over exaggerating it's really gone from like five black bags a week to one maybe every second week it's really even my husband who was a bit skeptic in the beginning but he's been such a treat um he's really just gotten on this train with me and and he's so supportive um but even he he made the remark to say wow mm. it has gone down so much like i'm seeing a difference here <laughs> so yeah it's uh, it it really helps to make these changes and i know it's it's scary sometimes and that's why i wanted to be able to test them uh, these different kind of products um for different parts of your life uh either your body or your home or whatever and be able to yeah. say listen this works you can use this it works for me it might work for you and look at the benefits it's better for the environment it can be recycled and the list goes on yes yeah, yeah. and you're writing about it as well eh? you yeah. share this experience on a blog on your blog the greenish newbie or you can say the address if people are interested uh, yeah. in the visit so it's it's very new um and i don't get to it as much as i want to uh i'll i'll be more active in in the future but it's um the greenish newbie you could just type that into google and you'll find it um it's currently still a wix site so i'm working on that but um yeah it's it's been such a treat i love writing um i don't have a, a background in sustainability or ecology conservation anything like that and i wanted to make that clear from from the beginning that i'm i'm just trying something and i'm telling you what i'm doing and if it helps you great if i change one mind in a month great um so yeah the greenish newbie um the idea of the 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 idea for the name came from my husband he hit that nail on the head um we were in a restaurant one evening and he just well we were throwing ideas around like what would we call this thing um and it just made sense to say oh well i'm a, i'm a newbie to this i'm a noob he's a noob we're just trying everything and and we'll see how it goes and yeah so more and more i'll try and and, and um create more resources and share more information about things on on the blog. Also a journey eh? and a work yeah. in progress obviously. Definitely. But Definitely. Um, yeah, also I do think um because you don't have any like background like educational background I mean um and because you are honest and you just share your daily life experience with these products mm-hmm. or with these changes or um your composting and your gardening like i've obviously read your blog a little bit um and i love it and i think that's why it's so um valuable because it's honest and transparent um uh information and people i mean most of us don't have education like we are not biologists or or whatever you know um so yeah and we are all in this together like we 
like even Leon and I, obviously, we're also on our journey and we're also just trying to share um, our step-by-step -step, um, progress and our journey. And um, I think it's very encouraging for for people just to see, okay, there's a, another person um, that is just starting out and is sharing their experience, just as you felt very welcome in your Facebook um, groups or in your, when you make your Facebook posts. Um, now you are welcoming new people into this community. And that's awesome. I think, yeah, that's very, Thanks. very valuable. Yeah, so <laughs> we are looking forward to everything that's still coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what would you say, like, was your best, the best um, change so far? Like, is there anything where you would say, now this was the best thing I could buy or change? Like, it doesn't need to be a product, but, yeah, I see hmm. something. Sure. Uh, all those things I mentioned earlier, those, those basic swaps of just taking um, – it's not making a big sacrifice. It's literally just changing from one product um, and one, let's say, a company who doesn't share your values and your hopes and your dreams for the future and switching to a different company who works with nature and with the environment instead of working against it and, and um, using it and ab abusing it almost. Um, for me, it was re really... I've, I've made so many changes now already and we're still really in the process of changing a lot of things. We're not where we want to be yet, but we're getting there. Um, anything from a shampoo bar, a bamboo toothbrush. Um, if you, if you just compost your food waste, that is an amazing step. That was for us a, a big change. And it, I mean, we're, we're gardeners. We love, we're amateur gardeners, but we love doing it. Um, and that saved us, money on composting and fertilizer um it diverted our waste from the landfills um so many small changes it was really just buying a different product from a different company and it made such a massive change so i can't really single out one product it was it was just the products came with it with with the the mindset of changing our lifestyle if that if that answers your question <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. No, it makes sense. And I also guess, like, whatever you're um, at the at this specific moment focusing about, that swap is the best at that moment. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, you shampoo or whatever. And I, then you look at your garden and then you get the Bukashi system and then this is the best. Exactly. <laughs> was, there, was there anything, like, very hard so far on your journey? Like... Um, a very mm -hmm. hard change or swap or um, any fails sure. that you experienced so far? No, definitely. Definitely. It's one thing that I've learned so far. And I mean, like I said, we haven't been doing this for so long. It's, let's say, almost half a year now. Time flies by. Um, yeah. But we're still learning so much. We, we've we tried doing the eco brick thing, uh, which I know is also a, a debatable topic but we decided rather to to put our uh, single-use plastic because in some cases you just can't get away from single-use plastic um in 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 our country especially meat products are wrapped in plastic some other products that are essential products are still wrapped in plastic so we tried to eco brick that but we literally got a bin to keep the a massive stash of our uh, single-use plastics in there and i need to eco brick them but I forget and I don't, don't make time. So now that bin is overflowing and I need to get to it. And I will one day, I just need enough pressure and I will get to it. So um, <laughs> that, that hasn't gotten as efficient as I thought it would initially. Um, and just certain products that, that I've found um, I'm still adjusting to. I just need to find the right one that suits me. Um, something like a deodorant, mouthwash, um, it's certain things that I think we've gotten so used to that it's mm -hmm. it's quite a shock to the system to to change to something different now. So, um, but I think it it, it it goes a lot with just changing your mind and and realizing that you're not making such a big sacrifice in the greater scheme of things. Um, if you th see, think of the good you're doing, um, it really 
it, that sacrifice isn't really a, a, a speckle on the map. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I um, yeah, I do think also that obviously not every product is the perfect or there's a, a, a perfect alternative or um, it's even like it's very individual as well. Like for mm. us, for instance, the toothpaste bits work so well. Like I was so surprised by it mm. um, and I wouldn't want to switch, switch back now. But um, for other people, it can be like the worst and they don't mm. want to do it. Like it's really... Um, priorities as well i mean sometimes it's for health reasons um that you can't change to a different product and i mean that's do what you can with what you what you can afford what what is available in your area and what you can allow i mean for some people like they, they physically just can't change to a different product at the moment for like i said medical reasons or, or otherwise and that's fine just then focus on a different aspect of your life or a different um, hab habit or hobby you can change. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. If we all just change a little bit, then exactly. um, yeah. we did change a lot already altogether, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, um, talking about, like, living with your husband, you already explained or you already said that he he's very supportive but um, can you just elaborate on this a little bit? Like, how's it working? Was he from the beginning? Yeah, okay, I'm going to go with it. Or um, are you on the same page? Like, does he maybe have different priorities than you? Or, um, yeah, yeah. Just if, you, if you could share a little bit about the living together uh, with the partner. <laughs> uh, he, I really I wanted to sing his praise. Um, he's sitting in a different room, so I don't even know if he can hear me right now, but. You can watch this later. Now, he's really been so supportive. Since the day we watched the David Attenborough documentary, I just told him, listen, we're changing things. And he's like, okay, okay, but take a breath. <laughs> Let's think about this. Because sometimes things can appear uh, uh, eco-friendly, and we all, we've all heard the term by now probably greenwashing, where a company says a, item, a product or an item is more eco-friendly than it is. Um, so I appreciated his slight skepticism really much in the beginning uh, because it's easy to just start running in one direction and buying a bunch of things or start switching a bunch, bunch of things. Um, and, and you really need to just sit down and think and do your research and figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, where can you make some changes. Um, so I've really appreciated his his uh, uh, calmness about it and his, um, like I said, his, his slight skepticism. And otherwise, he's just helped me so much. I mean, I drive him up the walls with, with the recycling because I, um, I have it. We, we use, uh, for example, tin cat food instead of the pouches because those um, plastic pouches aren't recyclable currently in South mm -hmm. Africa. Um, mm -hmm. So we, we switched over to canned uh, cat food which is exactly the same content, but anyway. Um, and so now the cans have to soak or stand in the, in the sink, um, and I promised him I will wash it. He doesn't have to do it. It's my crazy idea. I will wash it. But sometimes it does remain in the sink longer than I intend, um, and it, or it has to dry on, the, on, our, on our dish rack. Um, and I just always say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> So yeah, I, I give him I give him his days, but he's really been incredible. Um, and I mean, we have our differences about certain products. Uh, the toothpits you mentioned now worked for me perfectly from the get go, uh, but for him it doesn't really work. Um, mm -hmm. So we we use different products sometimes, uh, mm -hmm. but in other products we we both use like the the bamboo toothbrushes, um, and we're both active with our Bukashi composting. Um, I mean, he even helped uh, build a composting, a three bin composting system in our, our little complex where we live. So um, everyone could put their uh, organic waste, uh, their, their food scraps, um, paper, uh, cardboard, stuff like that. So we could start um, like circling out into our community rather than just doing it from home. Um, 
and he helped with that so much. I have the ideas and he most of the time has to, <laughs> has to uh, deliver on, on them. Yeah. <laughs> so now I, I really hope everyone who has, um, wants to make this change has a supportive partner um, or just someone who I can, like say, yeah, you do you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, just very accepted, yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's also fu more fun together, obviously, like, definitely, 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 and it gives yeah. you, it gives you so many fun things to do if you start uh, composting or gardening together or um, changing your hobbies and rather doing uh, activities that's better for nature, um, for example, if you if you like hiking and then you take a trash bag with you, um, it's fun things that you can do together that still oh. you spend time together. It builds your relationship, but it benefits the environment in the process. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> okay, Ali. I would like to open um, a little like um, question Q and A round for the. Um, yeah. Cool. Like for the people who watch us at the moment. So if anyone has any question to Aline, then um, you may speak now. <laughs> yeah, far away. Yeah. <laughs> and um, for you, yeah, how how is it um, like going forward now? Like what what are you still looking forward to? Do you have something specific in mind that you want to change next or? Um, are you just Ooh, um, I think I'm, I'm thinking now because um, we we've we've changed I think a lot of things at the moment would we can but they see yeah, there's still room to make a lot of uh, changes in our lives um, one thing would be and uh, we tried it this May now uh, which is which um, around the world is known as, as meatless May uh, and we tried that um, and it, it really went well. We didn't go 100% meatless. Um, that's also, I want to be completely transparent about that. Um, but we did try to reduce our meat intake um, drastically and, and it went it went really well. Um, but I don't want it to stop at the end. Oh, well, May is already over, but I don't want it to stop at May. I want to try and make this more of a lifestyle thing where um, mm -hmm. even if... Um, we do still eat meat occasionally. Uh, we we just incorporate more uh, plant-based meals and plant-based ingredients in in our lifestyle. Um, I've recently started the process of switching over to oat milk, for example. It's just a small change um, of moving away from an animal product to a plant-based product. Um, but I um, I do. Yeah, I, I I hope it makes a difference, and I hope some people try. It, but I know for some people, and you from a nutritional background, for some people it's just not going to to work. So yeah. um, I think it's just just sticking to it. I think that's actually a, a future move for us. It's just sticking to it and not dropping the ball. And if you do occasionally, just pick it back up and 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 go on with it. I think that's what we're gonna um, try and focus on in the future. Mm hmm. Good, so this is still something. Um, yeah, yeah, Jana yeah. is asking, do you have any suggestions on good reads for this topic? Wow, sure. Um, I'm busy with the, the book based on the documentary that, um, that changed things for me, um, A Life on Our Planet by David Attenborough. So I'm currently working on that one, but I will... Um, I have a long list of books that I still want to read, um, especially on people who have made a massive difference um, in in the past. Um, uh, uh, Sylvia Earle, for example, is is a massive hero of mine. So any works about these people, reading about actual physical people who who um, make a difference, is is inspiring to me. So I want to read all those books. Um, yo, and now I don't have a, a, a long list off the top of my head, but I will, I will post something about that thing. Um, because yes, yeah. they're on my, they're on my yeah. platform. I, I just don't know off the top of my head now. Um, but yeah, definitely. I think if you want to start with something, start with, with the, uh, the David Attenborough book. It's, it's brilliant so far. Um, I'm about in the middle of now and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for your question, Yana. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, thank you. Um, from me, also, like, book-wise, um, I really like The Zero Waste Home. Um, mm. I can't think of the, the author now. Um, but, yeah, there are a lot of, like, very useful tips in there. And then mm. I think most of, like, if you really want something um, – um, yeah, very like hands-on tips and insights and about products. Then Arlene's blog <laughs> <laughs> and our blog um, definitely and on the read store and in general. Like I think there's a lot, um, a lot of reads in the in the internet and on on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, like you don't you, you don't just have to go um, read a, a book. Sorry, you don't have to just buy a book of about it. Um, there's so many people, Rika, for example, who writes awesome articles, who, who really takes you through the, the day-to-day thing. So the, the David Attenborough book is good to give you the whole picture and, and motivate you. But if you're wondering how to go about day-to-day activities, um, how do you make a change in your home? Because that's where you really need to start. It's in your own life and in your home, and then you can branch out. Um, yeah. yeah, go to the Restores blog. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um can you um oh no, I just wanna go back to the um what you said, what you what you're at, at the moment working on or what you want for the nearer future. Is there anything um oh yeah, I just see the author of Zero Waste Term is Bea oh. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I <laughs> Um, that's not me writing my, uh, to myself, by the way. That's my husband just uh, oh. giving a little bit of input there. What a husband. Thumbs up to him. <laughs> um, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So is there any, like, um, you know, this job interview question, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, do you have oh. a, a big vision for um, mm. the – Eileen and hubby uh, in five years like how how will your lifestyle be where will the blog be um yeah yeah wow um yo yo i'm 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 not really the the five-year plan type of person i should probably be but um if i think in five years i i'd really like to make this um the the blog and, and talking about sustainability and just sharing um things with people I think I'd, I'd love to make that my, my sole focus and a permanent focus and really uh, branch out a bit. Um, at the moment, mostly I'm looking at, at more lifestyle tips and tricks. And, and in the future, I'd really love to uh, bring a spotlight or, or shine the spotlight on, on companies, people, entrepreneurs, NGOs, people who are really uh, say taking the fight to the to the uh, to where it's 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 necessary the people on the ground um so i'd really love to to chat to people more um and and just grow that community because a lot of these people they're too busy making a, a difference to 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 talk about themselves or, or or show things about themselves so if if i can be a a a, a conduit for them to um so other people can can hear about them or hear their story i'd i'd love to do that um, yeah. And it also it's another passion of mine. I, I, I study journalism, so talking to people and, and hearing their stories and telling their stories would would mm-hmm. oh, that would just be wonderful. If I can make that yes. my whole career, that would be wonderful. Um, and with with uh, with my husband and I, just bettering what where we are now. Um, like you said earlier, it's it's a it's a journey. It really is a journey. Um, you you start one day with a single small swap and then hopefully in five years we could have ironed out the little bugs we have now um, and we could hopefully really help other people make a change to a sustainable lifestyle and just show them that it's not this scary buzzword that's going around. It really is, mm-hmm. it's, it's so beneficial for your health, for your wealth. I've really saved mm-hmm. so much money since, since starting this journey. Yeah. Uh, and not from being frugal, just from really thinking about what I want to buy and not just wanting new things for the sake of getting a new thing. Um, and just yeah, where you want to, 
invest your money in the future. Um, so yeah, I think that's 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 our five year plan for now. No other big things. We have the cats, and we're very happy, and we'd like to expand on our garden. Um, hopefully, one day we'll have enough room to operate a proper veggie garden. That would be that would be something for us. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a good vision, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you're <it's open. laughs> We're working yeah, towards that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk in five years again and see where we are. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just again, like, I, I do think, like, this whole, like, creating a community and um, sharing mm -hmm. other people's stories, your own story, is so important to... Um, to do or to to initiate that ripple you know mm -hmm. um, i really hope it can it can help <laughs> yes yeah okay awesome um i've got a last question for you yeah. so would you share with us um with our followers and um with us with me <laughs> <laughs> um maybe three like main insights or motivations or tips that you've okay. got for the people who just want to start now? Yeah. Um, what the advice I can give is what I, what I went through myself. So um, I really feel it's, it's, it's transparent and it's tried and tested. Um, the first thing for me was really just to, and it sounds very cheesy, but to, to open my mind, to start rethinking the way I see things, um, if I see, for example, if you, if you walk into a store and you see a product that you've been using for years on the shelf and you just start to think, where did this come from? Where are the ingredients coming from? How's that affecting the communities um, around where, where the resource is coming from? Um, and then just following that trail, just, I mean, doing research and just thinking, um, how is that impacting people, the environment? Um, is, it, is it sustainable? Is it something that's putting something back into the environment or is it just something that's just mindlessly taking um, uh, away that, uh, something that's not putting back? Um, and to start listening to, uh, to talks like this and to podcast, watch documentaries on these topics, um, read books, uh, and just... Uh, start start a conversation with someone. Um, for example, uh, people who blog about sustainability. If you have a question, it's, it's, a, it's a, an, another piece of advice, is to just ask. Um, I've really experienced people in the sustainable community. Um, they're such friendly, nice, warm people. They're genuinely lacquer people. So they want to give you advice and they want to talk about these things because a lot of other people don't want to hear them talk about these things. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it's really just ask, ask for advice. It's, it's really what, it's what helped me. If all those Facebook friends of mine didn't send the suggestions um, about products or services that I could use to be more sustainable, um, I might've been a bit behind or I might've been scared of, of this, um, sustainable journey and I might have thought it's not attainable it's just for the people with the matching glass jars in their pantry and, and <laughs> it's not for yeah, the, for the everyday folks so that and um, yo, what else um, maybe from a practical side just looking at your at your lifestyle dividing your lifestyle into uh, uh, and your in your home into different segments um, it, it can really make this change feel less scary because it can feel extremely overwhelming at times. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've experienced it as well. And you get times where you feel personally responsible for the future of the whole planet. And it's not. It's not your responsibility. You have to do your part um, and do whatever you can. But um, it, it starts with small changes. So start in your kitchen or your laundry or your garden or what you feed your pets or what you buy for your pets, um, the products you use in yourself. Um, those are, yeah, start, start with something small in these different segments of your life. And I promise you, you'll see a difference in a, not even a couple of months, a couple of weeks. And um, like we saw with the 
how much our waste is reduced in in a couple of weeks of di using different products. Um, it's it's it is really you'll see the changes. It's not just this myth in the spy in the sky. It really yeah. it really does make a difference. Yeah, I think that that would be my advice. If there's any other questions, I'll be willing to answer them. But I think start yeah. small. Don't aim to fix the climate crisis in a day. It's going to take the whole planet and more of us, people who are willing to talk about things and people who are willing to make smaller sacrifices if we want to make a big change. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you so much for sharing. Is there anything else that you want to add um, that we haven't spoke, spoken about now or um, mm -hmm. about your blog or do you just want to add um, something? Last and then I'll sing of like, follow, and subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. um, I, I, I just really want um, people to know that it's, it's my intention to write um, helpful, uh, uh, transparent, and trustworthy um, information on my blog. That's, that's what I wanted to, to set out. With my um, journalism background, it's very important to me because there's such an influx of fake news we don't even want to hear the word fake news anymore so um yeah i just like to tell people that what i put out there i'm genuinely proud of and i i, I try to tell the truth um and i'll answer any questions that come through and i'll i'll try any product and i'll tell you if i didn't like it or it didn't work for me because it might work for someone else so yeah, yeah i think exactly. you yeah. could use it's more subject. yeah, subjective. yeah I think, I think we could right. use more honesty in in um, in any conversation or any sphere that has to do with with sustainability. It's not always a clean, open space with a bunch of plants and and bamboo this and glass that. It is really it can really get uh, messy and dirty. And but 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 in the long run, when you think about the the greater cause. Um, yeah, those those things don't matter. It's about using what you have, um, doing your part for the environment, and yeah, it's 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 our planet. It's the only, it's one one of the things we really have in common. We're all living on this planet, and we have to fight for its future. Because I don't see us going to Mars that soon, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna live here for a couple of years more. Our grandchildren are gonna live here, and we. We need to think about what we want to leave behind for them, really. Exactly, yeah. yeah. For them, mm -hmm. for the children's children. And yeah. The children. <laughs> yes, yeah. Agree, agree. Okay, Arlene, it was awesome to chat to you. Thank you so much for sharing all your insights and your journey um, and you. for everything that you share on your blog, all the honesty and transparency. Um, again, it's very valuable, I think, for a lot of people. And thank you, yeah, thank you so much. Thank and you for your yeah. talk. <laughs> <You've been so laughs> yeah. Really, it's <laughs> our part. So that's our part. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much for for this chat. It was so nice to speak to you again. It was very nice. Okay, Ali, and we'll stay in touch. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. definitely. Okay. <laughs> Have a lovely you so evening. Much. You too. <laughs> Cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>